him. I want to watch the news. Are you making are you making headway? Smack him a gob, it's time for the only news that matters. And Sammy Hagar has expressed his continued frustration that a tribute concert honoring Eddie Van Halen has not taken place. He says, I'm so disappointed how they handled everything, including when I left the band and what they did. All right, I'm going to stop reading for a second. This is a guy that after Eddie died, he promised never to slag on him again, and that's it. He feels bad talking about Eddie, and here he is talking bad about Eddie and the rest of the band. All right, let me continue reading his bullshit. Uh, the Red Rocker declared during a recent interview on Rock the Nation podcast, he said the dysfunction in, this ba- in that band, when I was in the band the first nine years, we got along freaking brothers and sisters. And we were happy together, one big family. But then things went wrong. Drugs and alcohol are a bad thing when it turns ugly. It's just never been the same. According to Agar, this dysfunction is the primary reason a much discussed tribute concert for Eddie Van Halen never came to fruition. For them not to have done something for Eddie Van Halen, the greatest guitar player in the world, on the planet, greatest rock musician, I'm telling you, it's ugly. But it's not my job. Uh, Through his last run with Van Halen, uh, ending nearly 20 years ago, Hagar continued honoring the band when he performed with his current group, The Circle. The Red Rocker, along with fellow Van Halen alumni, Michael Anthony, makes uh, sure plenty of former band's material is featured in the set list. He said, Mike and I are doing our thing. I don't know how much longer I can sing Van Halen songs and sing my own songs and jump around on stage and do great performances. So as long as I can do it, I got to keep doing it. I think we're just adding more Van Halen songs to the set. We're serving the Van Halen group up pretty good, he says. All right. All right. um, Back when Chicken Foot was around, every interview with Chicken Foot, Sammy Hagar always had to bring up how Joe Satriani was a better guitar player than Eddie Van Halen. Oh, he's the best guitar player I ever played with. And he also has to add in. And he's better than Eddie Van Halen. But now, he's like, oh, why ain't they doing a tribute for the greatest uh, guitar player on the planet? The guy's such a phony, fake piece of crap. I got to tell you, man. And who's telling him that he's got to do something about it? Oh, I can't do it. I can't organize an Eddie Van Halen uh, uh Tribute, it's not my job. Well, number one, nobody asked you, all right? And this whole thing with the Van Halen, uh, Eddie Van Halen tribute thing was supposed to be without Sammy Hagar and without Michael Anthony. They, uh, Jason Newstead was asked and Satriani was asked. They didn't ask Michael or Sammy, but Michael's not out there crying about it. Sammy's the one that always has to go to the media and badmouth Van Halen every chance he gets. And then in a future interview, he'll bring up again Al. Well, I don't want to talk bad about them after Eddie died. Or his classic, I don't know what David Lee Roth's problem is with me. I have no problem with him. Yeah, you do. You're constantly talking about David Lee Roth. David Lee Roth does not talk about you anymore. But all you do is go to the press and talk about how bad he sings how he's jealous that you were more successful in Van Halen than than he was. Why can't anybody out there that interviews this clown, you know, actually know the facts and bring it up to him, bring up that, dude, you did not sell more than Daily Roth. In fact, only two Daily Roth Van Halen albums outsold the whole Vangina discography, all of it. And that's only two albums. 
The other albums they did with Dave back in the 80s sold millions as well. They completely devoured you in sales. When David Lee Roth came back to the band, those tours were the most successful tours. Um, and now in retrospect, who the hell? You know, okay, they released a box set. How many years did it take them to release that box set? I know they re-released the Van Halen discography with Dave several times before that ever happened. And a shout out to one Vangina fan out there the same stuff like, ha ha, the box that came out in your face. Well, you know, let's see if they repress them. Let's see how well it sells. I don't think, I don't think they're going to repress them like they repressed the David Lee Roth stuff. Well, it's obvious they won't. Fuck you, Eddie Van Halen. You know, Sam and Hagar passed a group of teenage boys. And he said, evening boys, what are you doing? The kid said, nothing much, Sammy. We're just seeing who can tell the biggest lie ever. And Sammy said, boys, 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 I'm shocked. When I was your age, I never lied. The boys looked at each other and then said in unison, you win, Sammy. That's right, because Sammy is full of shit. You know, when Sammy was in school, you know, he caused a lot of fuss with the teacher and the teacher called the, the mom and said, I'm your, I'm your son's teacher and I'm calling to tell you that he may be a compulsive liar. And the woman on the other end said, and he's a damn good one because I don't have any son. <coughs> oh, I'm not done. Yeah, a pathological liar, a horrible singer, and a doofus walk into a bar. And the bartender says, what will it be, Mr. Hagar? Yeah, what's the difference between Sammy Hagar and a lawyer? There's no difference. They both lie. Yeah, that's right. You know, when Sammy Hagar joined Liars Anonymous, they automatically made him president. Yeah, because he's a liar. That's right. He one time walked up to somebody and said, hey, I'm a compulsive liar. And that somebody said, really? And Sammy said, no. See, that proves it. If Sammy Hagar was a Native American, he would be called Shitting Bull. Yeah. What do you call someone that says they never masturbate? A Sammy Hagar. Even when he dies, Sammy Hagar will be lying. He'll be lying still, but he'll still be lying. Anyway, Eddie Van Halen tribute show ain't gonna happen. And if it did happen, it'd probably take place in LA and I couldn't go, so. Sorry for you people in LA that missed the Eddie Van Halen tribute show. I'd go if it came down here, but not a big priority. And the reason why it's not such a huge priority is because at that show, there will be no Eddie Van Halen. I saw Eddie Van Halen. I saw Women and Children First Tour. Greatest show I ever saw was the Fair Warning Tour. I saw Diver Down. I saw 1984. I saw the reunions with Dave. And unfortunately, I saw a couple of Super Vangina show. I went to 5150 for free. And I went to the Monster the Rock show because I never saw Metallica. And I went to the Nosebleeds to watch Van Halen. And then after eruption, I walked out and I went to the car that my friend took me in and waited for him to come out. It was terrible. But with Dave, they were the best, especially in the 80s. I never saw a band dominate a crowd like Van Halen did. And it's weird because that's the greatest band in the world. And then when I saw him with Sammy Hagar, it was like the worst live show, both of them. 5150 was terrible. And I couldn't believe that OU812 at Monster Rock was even worse. I didn't think it was possible to be even worse than that 5150 show. And that's it. I mean, there was no I, there was no reason for me to even see him in the first place. I didn't even like 5150, but I went. And, you know, Eddie Van Halen was my favorite guitar player. Saw him do Eruption. That part was great, but I think the best part of the show was BTO opening. And mind you, that was only one night at the Sportatorium where Dave, Edom and Smile played there two nights. And 1984 tour with Dave, two nights. Diver Down with two nights. Sammy Hagar, one night. Even though he likes to brag that 
on the 5150 show, we played multiple shows at one venue. The guy's a liar. He is shitty bull. Now, all these memes you're looking at, I didn't make them. I got them from the fine people at this Facebook group called Sammy Hagar Sucks, which features a bunch of kind people, great people with good head on their shoulders that make these outrageously beautiful memes. And I'm not only talking for myself when I say this, but hating Hagar makes me and everybody in that group happy. And nobody's going to take away our happiness. So thank you so much for watching the only news that matters. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And ring that little notification bell. And like the video. It's good for the YouTube algorithms. And hey, leave your comments below. If you think Hagar is a compulsive liar and he's a piece of crap, leave it down there. Or all you that think that Sammy Hagar never lies, Leave your comments below too, and also leave an exclamation why you're so damn gullible. So, stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath. Fuck Sammy Hagar. He sucks. And smack him a gob. Farewell and adieu to you, fair Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu, you ladies of Spain. For we've received orders for to sail back to Boston. And so never more shall we see you again. <laughs>